what is up YouTube so today we're gonna be going through the brood mother boss fight and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give you guys some tips and tricks that helped me when I fought her we are on the bottom right hand corner of the map in the hedge area I'm gonna show you guys exactly where to go to access the boss fight but first I just want to give you guys some status effects that helped me uh, when I was fighting her I do highly recommend meat shield it just increases your max health obviously that's a good one to have going into this boss fight i have cardio fan on but you can switch between cardio fan and barbarian it really depends on your preference uh, i just like cardio fan because i like the stamina boost and you are definitely going to want mithridatism i hope i'm pronouncing that correctly but anyway so essentially what it does is it just gives you a poison guard and it basically makes you immune to her poison if you don't have this status effect, it can be a pain fighting her. Her poison wrecks your health bar, like actually destroys it. So I do highly recommend that perk as well. To obtain this perk, you have to kill five wolf spiders. But when I did that, it didn't quite give me the perk. So something leads me to believe that you have to get poisoned a few times to get it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe that you kill five wolf spiders to get this perk. Okay, so... Some things you're going to want to have. Obviously, you do need your Broodmother BLT to activate the boss fight. Uh, you're also going to want to have anything spicy. So, you can use the Spicy Antlion Greatsword. That one works as well. Or you can use the Spicy Coltana. Mine is level 7. So, I do highly recommend going in with higher level weapons if you don't want to struggle. You can do it with level 5 weapons. But, obviously, level 7 weapons are best. Armor. You're going to want armor as well. Definitely get the ladybug armor or the black ant armor going into this fight. Uh, huge, huge help when fighting the broodmother. And then pots. Okay, so for potions and health items, I do highly recommend getting the liquid rage potion. I only have four of them. Uh, you can use whatever you want for pots, but um, liquid rage was the best, I think, personally. It also gives you an attack boost depending on how you spec the potion but you can essentially make these in the smoothie machine if needed you're also going to want heal bosses uh what these are is you can make them from mosquitoes and essentially you just toss them on the ground you hook them on the ground and it gives you kind of a pretty huge health boost super useful if you're doing this two man instead of one man um but yeah those are useful because they heal your allies around you just be aware that if you do use them in a two man don't do it next to the boss because it'll give the boss health as well I have uh, fiber bandages also. I think fiber bandages can be useful in this boss fight as well. They don't really heal you that much, and she does do a great amount of damage. So um, it's just useful for when she spawns her little adds. Okay, so let's get you guys the location of the boss fight. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just run this way. If we're looking at the entrance to the, the base here, you're going to run this way. run past the crow fountain here and what you're gonna want to be looking for is kind of a little log that leads into the hedge area down here also guys I do recommend going into this boss fight with max hunger and thirst it is a shame when you get in there and you have less stamina or half stamina because you don't have enough food on you so anyway, you're going to run this way, you're going to find this log here, just give you guys a surrounding, it's next to the sprinkler here, you're going to run up this way. You're going to run around this tree here. And what you're going to want to look for is you're going to want to look for the paper clip, that's where you're going to want to enter. So you're just going to jump up here on this stick. You're going to want to hang it right here. You know you're going the right way when you see the lab or the scanner there. Run up this way here. And what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for the zip lines. The zip lines 
or where you want to head. So our first zip line is going to be right here next to the juice box and the baby spiders. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, so now once you get over here, you're going to want to aim for that lab entrance over there. And you can see that second zip line kind of off in the distance. Um, I actually went the incorrect way. But you're going to want to run this way down here. Watch the baby spiders, obviously. They don't really do much to you though, so you can kind of ignore them. Jump onto these here. And again, we're aiming for that zip line right there, so you're going to hang it right. Just going to swing past this little lab entrance right here. And you're going to find your second zip line right here. So essentially what we're aiming for here guys is the frisbee. Once you have reached the frisbee, you will be all set to go. You have reached the boss fight pretty much. Just watch out for the spiderlings. You're going to want to run up here. And as you can see, you can already kind of see her lair right here. So once you reach this point, again, make sure your health, or your health, excuse me, your hunger and thirst don't even need to boil it is maxed out here and now we have reached the brood mother boss fight all right everyone here we are at the entrance to the brood mother boss fight here picking up where we left off so i do recommend creating a save here just so if you do fail the boss fight you don't have to go back and recreate all of your healing items all over again to get into her arena it's pretty simple you just kind of follow the path here and then you'll see an egg sack in the back of the room to summon her. It's pretty simple. You just walk up to the egg sack and put the BLT in there and it summons her. So before you oh, do summon her, I do recommend ensuring healing and thirst spots. is full. Also, make sure your healing items are organized in a way that are easily accessible as you will be using all of them. I'm cutting it pretty close here with the healing items I have. I actually do recommend having a few more than what I have. But uh, hopefully the upgraded weapons can uh, get me through it. Alright, so she's going to drop directly from the ceiling here. And I do recommend just walking up to her and starting to smack her. Like, as soon as she drops, right? Because um, she'll, uh, she'll make it so you have reduced damage later on with her abilities. Avoid her jump as, as much as you can, if you can. Spiderlings spawn here. She'll scream at you. Um. So once she attacks you, what you're going to want to do is when she's leaning back, that's when you start your block. Alright? So she'll do this lean back thing. And that's when you start your block. When she leans back, I missed there, but that's when you want to do it. So this combo is three, that's her three combo, you're going to want to time it just like I did, but she'll attack you three times, and if you can't get a perfect block, just make sure you block her attack, that's her five, she does one more, there you go, again try to avoid her jumping away, it's a pain uh, to deal with it. Orb Weavers come first if you can, but they can be a pain to deal with. You're going to want to try to get... Oh, I got hit by that. Thought I blocked it. Oh. There we go. Fifth one, she leaves back, there we go. She's jumping on me. Block 
Blocking that one super handy. You get free hits in after. Or one more. Weavers now. She screams. Always focus her. When she's attacking you, always focus her. Or, or else you'll take big damage. When she jumps away, that's your chance to kill the orb weavers if you can. Because once you get rid of the orb weavers, it's a lot easier to just kill her. Try not to get back into this corner here if you can avoid it. It can be a pain. Oh, she got me with that. Oh, boss bugged out. You have completed your Bruth, excuse me, Brood Mother boss fight. Again, guys, the parrying timing takes a little bit of time to get down, so you may have to try it a few times. Essentially, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to block right when she starts to lean back, because she's really fast when she attacks you. Second thing you're going to want to note is uh, healing items. Okay, so. I cut it really close. I used all of my healing items. So I recommend maybe doing 5-5 five, five, and then 10 bandages. So 5 um, smoothies, 5 heal bosses, and then bandages. And again, you can create it however you want. It's totally up to you how you organize your healing items. You can overdo it if you want. You can underdo it. But again, I'd say 4-4 four, four is the bare minimum. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this small boss fight tutorial. Uh, stay tuned in the future. Thank you.